Oh no! Don't die! Ooh. Damn it! Hey guys, this is Inicorps here, and welcome back to another episode of the Craft Box. This is episode 13, and here we are outside of this ocean monument. And I have decided I am going to come out here and conquer this thing because I need Prismarine. That's right, I need Prismarine for our aquarium project, and here we are at an unconquered ocean monument, very close to AFK Village. So, I'm going to gather some materials here for my healing box, and I uh, might go find a cow to get rid of this mining fatigue. And we're going to see what we can do here, and hopefully clear out all of the Elder Guardians. Oh no, I left my other chest plate. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine if I just have some golden carrots and make sure I don't take too much damage. So I've raided a couple of these before, and one thing I know is that mining fatigue is a pain in the posterior. The best thing to do is to ensure that you keep breaking the line of sight while you're running around. Because then, they can't shoot you. So as long as you keep breaking line of sight of guardians, they can't hit you like this. As long as you're swimming around like this, they can't shoot you. So yeah. <laughs> But the fun part is, now I gotta get out of here. And they're all gonna hit me, so. Ouch. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, God. Do I die out here? Don't you dare shoot me again. Regenerate some health, boys. Okay, we got the mining fatigue back. But holy cow! That was a little intense. I think I need to make a safe haven platform over there. Okay, I'm failing here. Come on. Oh god, I'm gonna drown! Forgot about the fact that I need to breathe. <laughs> Don't die! Damn it! Alright, well, since we died, I guess we've got to go, you know, get a boat, and then get back there before my stuff despawns. Oh, there's a boat right there. I'm gonna steal that. I think I've got everything. I think I got everything. Hey, Wombo's on! Okay, we're in. There's one of the Elder Guardians now. Let's go get some air. Alright, let's fight this guy. Move, dang it! Woo! Okay, he's dead. We got that guy. Oh, we got the Elder Guardian head! Nice! Got him. That should be all of the Elder Guardians in this temple. There we are, water free in this room, and I am tearing apart all of the blocks that I can. Oh my goodness, I am so happy I can do this now. Uh-oh. Uh, can I get up here? Oh, got it. Okay, yep, we made it. Alright, perfect. But yeah, I'm gonna start clearing out this place, get some Prismarine together for our aquarium, and then we'll be back at the aquarium. 
Alright guys, so here we are back at the aquarium. It is currently the next day in real life time and a lot of things have changed. As you can tell, I have collected loads and loads of prismarine and I've also collected some coral stuff and I went ahead and put together the main entrance and the first area here which is the coral reef tank. This is going to be the biggest tank here at the aquarium and it's going to consist of mostly tropical fish, puffer fish, uh, stuff like that. As you can see I've got a bucket for fish catching, or a bucket, a box for fish catching, and I've got a puffer fish in here. But that's all I've got, so we need to go hunting some regular tropical fish. But I kind of wanted to show you guys what I've gotten done. So I built a ticket booth here, and all you do, it accepts anything because, you know, I couldn't be bothered to add a filter. But all you've got to do is you throw in a diamond here, and you hear it click, that means it'll spit out a ticket. And then you take that ticket and you put it into here, and that'll open the door, and it gives you some time. It stays open for quite a bit. And then it shuts behind you. And, uh, yeah, this is the main entryway. Um, this is underneath the great tank, as you can tell, uh, because of the slabs here. And you can see it's pretty nice. I've got it nice and lit up and everything. And this will come out into the main foyer, which is going to be kind of huge. And, uh, so I think that's turning out pretty good. This right here is the maintenance area or emergency exit. And this is where we're going to go to retrieve the tickets whenever they get scanned to let people in. And the other area is behind the gift shop, which is going to be built over here. And I've already got it slightly set up here. We've got like one shelf over here in the cash registers. And then we've got this area. Behind this door, there is the redstone for the ticket dispenser. And as you can see, that's where I'm gonna get the diamonds. So yeah, I'm liking it so far. Uh, I've got it pretty well set up. All of this is under the big coral reef tank. And as you can see, the walkway is gonna be like right here at this level. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. I, I like it. It's taken me a while to do, but yeah, I'm really excited to continue working on this, but we need to go catch some fish for our very first tank. So let's head over to the ocean and we'll get ourselves out. We'll get ourselves some tropical fish. Alright guys, so after all of that fishing, we got this entire shulker box full of puffer fish and tropical fish. Got a couple cod here and there just for a little bit of a variety. But yeah, I think we've got a good variety of fish. Let's go ahead and plunk them all down here into this water and we'll see what our aquarium looks like once we've got fish in here. I'm excited. Alright, so we just put them down. And luckily these buckets stack. Now, do these despawn? Do I have to name tag these? I hope I don't. Uh, please don't do the thing where you f always swim towards the corner. Aw, oh, man. What are they doing? Why are they all over here? Well, that's not good. They're all trying to get right here. Why? There's only one of them that's over there, just chilling. Oh, they all went back now. Why did they all do that? That makes no sense. That was a little scary there, but I think we're going to be fine? Because it looked like they all decided to actually go back and start swimming in the aquarium like normal fish. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. We've got a couple fish in here now. Starting to look more like an aquarium, that's for sure. Let me grab the rest of these fish out of here. This aquarium is now pretty much filled to the brim with all the fish that it needs. I guess something else it might need is a sea turtle? But those need air. This is just fish. We're not going to do a sea turtle or a dolphin or anything in this aquarium. We're just doing fish. There we go. Let's take a look at what it looks like. kind of want to see it like from the viewer standpoint. You can see a couple fish. 
I wonder. Where are they all at? I see a couple of them over there. Okay. Cool. Got some puffer fish floating around, some cod. Ooh, hello there, buddy. It seems to be kind of like a pretty empty tank, though, to be honest with you, and I just dumped 27 fish in here. What are they all doing there? What are they doing? One, two, three, four fish. Five, really. Six. Six fish, all right there, in that one spot. Why? I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out later. But yeah, we've got ourselves an aquarium. Let's take a look at what it looks like outside. Oh, I just bounced on that bed. That was cool. Oh yeah, that looks cool from over here. They're all chilling over here. Okay. Yeah, I hope these guys don't despawn, but it looks really cool. I'm really proud of this. We got our first little aquarium. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I'm actually out of time for this episode. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. You don't have to. It's whatever you want to do. Hit that subscribe button if you want to. Hit that bell icon if you want to. You know the drill. It's YouTube, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to be the cringy YouTuber that tells you what to do. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, beautiful. You rock.